Yeah, there's a lot of talk lately about being PC. And I'm not talking about being politically correct. Yeah, what's it really mean to be on PC? And when I'm talking PC, I'm talking about personal conveyance. See a lot of discussions on the forums and the social media about what's it really mean? How do you really use it? How come my carrier doesn't let me use it? All those things. Well, I came across a little item where the CVSA is asking the FMCSA to change the rule, put an additional part to the rule about personal conveyance. They want them to add a part that says there's a limit to the time and or the distance that a driver can be in PC. I guess that means during a certain term of their duty status on their duty day. The way the rule reads now is you can use personal conveyance for personal business as long as you are off duty and relieved of all of your duties and responsibilities to the carrier. That means you have to be off duty, relieved of all your duties, you have no responsibility, nothing. You can be on PC, personal conveyance. Here recently they added a part to where you can do, be under PC and be under a load at the same time. They said, is, they assume that if you're off duty on PC, that you're not furthering the load towards its destination. Now, I don't know what kind of situation that I'd be in where I'd be under a load and have to do PC. I'm sure there is one. Right now we use PC before we get to the yard on a lay down, go under PC to get to the hotel, to get food, then get back to the yard. Also, the way the rules are now, the carriers can put in more limitations on the use of PC than what's in the advisory rule from the FMCSA. They can limit time and distance, or they can just limit PC to where you can't even use it at all. That's what a lot of guys don't understand, that carriers can say, we're not gonna use PC. We're not gonna use it at all, and not make it available to you on your ELD. So they wanna make it where there's more, where there's a limit on the time and the distance that a driver can use PC because they say that with the confusion, especially with being under a load and being able to use it, that drivers are extending their day by hours and hundreds of miles under the use of PC and that it's hard to detect for inspectors. They say it's harder for them to, to detect, especially when a driver uses PC on multiple trips it's hard to narrow down what they're using to further the load and what they're using for personal business. It's harder for them to tell. Now they said they are catching some of these guys doing this and that they're catching some because it's they've had to dig a little farther, but they figure that if they're only catching a few of these people, the drivers are really abusing the system and a lot of drivers are doing it. So they've asked the FMCSA for this addition to the definition of the rule. Distance and time that a driver can be under PC. So tell me, how do you use PC? Does your company let you use PC? Uh, like I already explained how we use it. If you're LTL, I'm guessing it's gonna be basically the same. I don't know of any LTL companies that don't allow their drivers to use PC. They may be, I don't know. But tell me how you use it. Tell me what you think about extending the rule adding to the rule to where there's a time and a distance component to being able to use personal conveyance there's been all sorts of cdl rule changes the last several months i'll put up some videos that explain some of that if you've subscribed to the channel i really really appreciate it hit the like buttons leave me a comment if you haven't subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button and we'll see you later.